So let's look at data channel offloading in action. Uh, first, we're going to try it when it's off and it's not installed on our access server and see the user experience. As you can see on my access server, it is inactive because it's not installed. So we're going to connect with one of the users and see what happens. Uh, let me look at the user. Here we go. We have a user here on this access server, Aiden. So we're going to connect with Aiden uh, to this access server and to this network. So let me go type the password here and click OK. Uh, here we go, Aiden is uh, connected. Now, on this local machine here, I do have a folder uh, named old videos. Uh, if I go to properties, you're going to see I have about 8 gigs of data here, or videos. So I'm going to try to uh, uh, copy this uh, folder across the network to a server uh, where my access server is. So let me connect to that server here. And as you can see on that server, I do have a shared folder. And if you look at uh, under that shared folder, I have another folder and a file. So I'm going to copy this uh, old videos folder across the network to that server. Again, that server is sitting behind that access server where the access server is. Right out of, out of the bat, you can see the connection is that. Uh, you can see bytes in and bytes out. And the uh, speed on the Windows machine is somewhere between 3 to 5 on the Windows machine and the on the client app, it shows seven megs per second, and you can see the bytes in and bytes out. It's uh, it's not that much. Now, if you look at the uh, duration of the uh, connection, right now we're somewhere between a minute and 30, 13, 14 seconds, and we are only 1% complete. So let's go ahead and disconnect this. We're gonna uh, close, uh, let me delete this folder also, so since we're gonna copy it again in a second, and I'm gonna disconnect from um, this user. Now, let's go ahead and uh, enable uh, DCO. So let's head back to the op uh, access server. And uh, one thing I have to mention here, the minimum version for access server has to be 2.12. As you can see, my access server is 2.12.0. So that's a minimum version. Now, uh, expand configuration, go to advanced VPN. And the very first option is going to be data channel offloading. As you can see, it's Disable right now. A couple of things I have to mention here that activating the data channel offloading will disable support for OpenVPN clients uh, before 2.4. Also, in non if a non compatible configuration is detected, the kernel module is not going to be available and uh, will automatically be disabled, and access server is going to fall back to the normal operation. Now, as you can see on my access server, the DCO module is not available because it's not installed. There is a documentation that it's going to go uh, over how to install uh, the uh, DCO module. So if you open this documentation, let me go ahead and open it here. So here we go. There is an instruction on how to enable DCO on our access server. If you scroll down, you're going to see where uh, you have to type a couple of commands, reboot, and then install DCO on your access server. This has to be done uh, to basically get the um, uh, future um, installed and enabled on your access server. So I already have an SSH session going on with my access server. I'm going to run the first command uh, for the update one. As you can see, then I have to run the upgrade and then reboot. And after reboot, install this you. This is going to take somewhere between three to five minutes, depending on your system. And uh, in order to save some time, I'm just going to go ahead and connect to another access server that I already have uh, DCO installed. So I'm going to reboot this one. Let's switch back to another access server. This access server, I already have DCO installed. As you can see, if I go to Advanced VPN, here we go. You can see that Open uh, VPN DCO module is available. So let's go back to the status page. And if you look at the status overview, still the DCO is inactive. So in order to activate it, we need to go back to configuration, advanced VPN, and then we need to toggle the switch to yes. Once done, click a uh, scroll down and then click on save setting and then update running server. Now, once the uh, uh, running server is updated, we're going to go back to the status page to double check and make sure that our uh, OpenVPN DCO is active. Here we go. Now it shows active. Now, we need to active uh, or enable DCO on the client app also. So if you bring up the client app and you click on the menu and go to settings, scroll down all the way to the bottom and expand advanced settings and you're going to see an option for DCO. One thing I have to mention here, 
you need to check your security level. If by default set to legacy, you need to change it preferred and recommended. Otherwise, you're going to get an error message. Now, we're going to go ahead and uh, look at the users on this access server. We have Ella on this access server. So I'm going to connect as Ella. Uh, so let me type the password and then uh, click OK. And Ella is connected. So let's go ahead and bring our uh, folder with the videos or old videos again. Um, again, if I go to properties, you're going to see the same folder, eight gigs of data. And I'm going to go ahead and connect to the server that it's on the other location where the access server is. I mean, hit OK here. Well, oh, here we go. We're connected. So I'm going to. Uh, Try to copy uh, the old videos again across the network to that server. Let's go ahead, copy. Now let's look at these stats. Now, as you can see, the connection stats shows about 53, 54 megs. Uh, bytes in, bytes out, a lot higher, especially bytes out. You can see about 60, uh, 65 megs. Even on the Windows machine, it shows about 50 some megs um, transfer. Now we've been less than a minute and we already have 14%. So. Let's go ahead and disconnect. As you can see, the difference that a data channel offload makes on a connection. Now, we're going to try a couple of other things here. I'm going to go ahead and disable the uh, DCO on the client. So I'm going to uncheck this box. So the client doesn't have a DCO enabled, but, but our access server still has a data channel offload uh, enabled. So if I go back to status and look at it, you can see the data channel offload is active. So the client doesn't have it, it's disabled, but on the access server is enabled. So let's go ahead and look at the user experience. I'm going to connect with Ella again. Let's go, let's go ahead and type a password, click OK, and she is connected now. So let's go back and uh, uh, I'm going to close this window because I have to reconnect. So I got my old videos here. Let's go ahead and connect to the server again. Uh, here we go. And uh, we're connected. And uh, I'm going to delete this old videos from last session. And then I'm going to copy again. So here we go. We're copying. As you can see, uh, the speed is not that bad. Still, we get uh, a high amount of uh, transfer, uh, even on the Windows machine. Bytes out, bytes in and everything else is not as good as when we had DCO enabled on both uh, access server and the client. But it's still, we're getting uh, a little bit of uh, increase in our performance. Again, less than a minute, and we are at 8% uh, complete when it comes to the transfer. So I'm going to go ahead, again, uh, disconnect here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, disable DCO on the access server, but enable it on the client. So let me go ahead and close this window. And we're going to go to access server here, uh, advanced VPN, and I'm going to toggle the switch to no. So we're going to turn it off, scroll down, click on save settings, and then update uh, running server. And then let's go to status and look at the status overview. So here we, go. here we go. Data channel is inactive. So we got it inactive on the uh, access server. Now I'm going to go ahead and enable it on the client. So let's go, oops, I click on the wrong one. Let's go to settings and scroll down to the advanced. And we're going to enable DCO. So now we got it enabled on the client but we don't have it enabled on the access server. So let's see what happens if I connect. I'm going to connect with Ella. Let's type the password. Click OK. And Ella is connected. So let's go ahead and bring our two Windows Explorer. So I got the videos here. And I'm going to connect again. If you look at the properties, 8 gigs, same folder. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to the server. Let me uh, bring up the screen. And here we go. So let me delete this folder. And we're going to copy old videos. And let's look at the stats. 
So as you can see, uh, not great. Again, it's uh, uh, basically uh, going back to a normal operation. So we're looking at the about four to five megs on the connection stats on the client app. We're looking about three to five megs on the Windows machine. Again, we are close to a minute of the connection and we are at 1%. So we're basically seeing the normal operation and no increase in the performance. So that was a demo of a DCO uh, to see basically how the data channel offload works. And you can see the user experience in different scenarios.